Hello, hello everyone. Today is a very, very special day because as you can see these jars that are here that I'm showing on camera today, I actually started making these a while back, but I never put it on camera. So I've been steeping these, as you can see, since July 4th, some of them since July the 11th. And this particular one, I had to split into two jars because the fluid wasn't moving well enough throughout to really soak up the ingredients so I can get the benefits of the ingredients into the liquor. So these are bitters. Um, some refer to them as tinctures. And so they can be used for medicinal purposes as well as food purposes. So whatever purpose that you're using it for, you know, you can make your own. And so here I have Kirschwasse, which is the German word, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, for cherry water. And so these are cherry pits that have been soaking in vodka. This is hops. And that's basically like the hops, which you would make beer with. Um, so then I have some candied lemons, some vanilla beans, and then some blackberries that I have been steeping in some vodka. All of these have been steeped in vodka. When you're making your um, tinctures or your bitters, you can do them with brandy um, as well or some form of whiskey. But I went with what I know best. I know how to work with vodka the most. Hold on just a second. Let me get the vodka. So here's the brand of vodka that I've been using. To make a tincture or a bitter, you're going to need at least 80 to 100 proof of vodka or of any alcohol, whether it's the brandy or whiskey. It has to be 80 and above as far as the proof goes. So like I said, I've been steeping those um, herbs and fruit and seeds in the vodka for a couple of months now. And today, I'll be draining these and bottling them. I already have my little bottle ready to go here. So, my little dark colored amber bottles. That's what I'll then strain and then filter again. I like to do double um, filtering. And... Oopsie, I have my little mesh bag here, and I normally use this mesh bag when I'm making my fruit juices. So what I do is um, I put the fruit in there and then I squeeze out every little drop of juice that I can possibly get from the um, variety of fruits that I use to make like my cranberry raspberry juice or my tropical fruit paradise juice that I make. I could be combining some of the names but I do know I have a a tropical paradise juice or it's either tropical haven I have it written down somewhere I've created quite a few juices and so they all run together at some point and I even have a cherry and blood orange one but anyway um and sometimes I even incorporate some of the fruit bitters into my juices so that's all I wanted to show you. Um, next time you guys see this, I'll be doing this on my bigger camera when I actually go through the process of filtering everything as well as doing the demonstration of how to actually make your tincture or bitter. All right then, that's all for now.